How's it going guys? Brian here and today we're going to be talking about how you can style your Vans old school. So if you just got some for the holidays or if you're looking at buying some or even if you already have a lot of pairs but you're wanting new ways to wear them then this video is definitely going to help. If you guys don't already know my name is Brian and I make fashion YouTube related content. So if looking good and feeling good is something that you're into then make sure to subscribe but with that let's just get straight into it. So we're going to be breaking this lookbook down with different jeans that you can wear and then the combinations that go with those jeans. So we're going to start with a pair of lightly distressed light denim. Now the first outfit I'm going to be showing is going to be super simple. It's something that anybody could do and that's going to be just throwing a long line tee with it and this is basically what it's going to look. Now this is a super simple outfit. It's basically just a top with no layering. So I think it's a perfect foundational piece that anyone can basically own and rock and you don't have to put too much thought into. So definitely looks great. Now if you do want to make it look a bit more complex and add a bit more layers, then go ahead and add a windbreaker like this one. This is just a basic blue windbreaker. It looks really cool. And especially for those cloudy days, this is definitely the way to go because it's going to keep you somewhat insulated, but it's still going to look very summery and very breathable, right? So definitely a good way to go about it. When it comes to Vans, I am rocking them just with no-show socks. The reason why I would wear no-show socks is because I think Vans are very casual. And so wearing no-show socks kind of just brings out that vibe more of kind of don't care, just got up, put my shoes on and started heading throughout my day. So definitely invest in a pair of no-show socks so you can get that similar aesthetic. Now, if you don't have a windbreaker, you could also throw on a flannel with it, like the one that you see right here. This is a really sick outfit. I think out of all the outfits that I recorded, this is the one that's my most favorite. So if you have any flannels, this is the way to go. This is really cool. And the thing with the flannel is it's going to keep you a bit more insulated than the windbreaker will. So if it's a bit more cold in your area, this is definitely the way to go. I think it looks freaking dope. Now, don't forget that you could also just skip all that and do something simple like a crew neck. You don't have to overthink it. Honestly, personally for me, I know I love crew necks and you're going to be seeing a lot of outfits with crew necks throughout this lookbook but definitely you guys can see why a crew neck is so simple to pull off you don't have to worry about too much mixing and matching with colors it just looks great hoodies guys do not underestimate how good a hoodie could look this hoodie right here very simple fits well makes me feel freaking amazing so if you guys get a good fitting hoodie you can wear that with your vans and it's gonna look really good moving on to the next pair of pants these pants are gonna be a pair of lightweight dress pants don't think that dress pants need to be dressed up even though it's in the name honestly it still looks really good the first outfit that i'm gonna be showing you guys is super simple keeping in line with the crew neck what can i say i'm a sucker for a comfortable crew neck especially when it comes to right now the winter it's definitely a good look again just a simple crew neck we can also go with a hoodie looks really good i like it i think it looks dope it's more of that relaxed aesthetic but then you have dress pants so it looks like you're actually trying even though the dress pants honestly feel like you're wearing pajamas it's such a comfortable pair of pants i love it so yeah definitely amazing now guys these next outfits i'm going to show you with the dress pants they're going to be experimental and i just want to let you guys know some of you guys might not like these combinations and it's absolutely fine you don't have to like them but the first one is going to be this henley right here paired with the dress pants i think i like this a lot just because the henley is from essentials so you know it's freaking soft and amazing um the line just makes super good quality shirts um but it is a bit more dressy actually i think it looks a bit more dressy but as you can tell it still looks good to me and especially with the vans old school it kind of makes it look more youthful so i'm definitely digging this look would i wear it every day honestly not but for the days where i'm like man i keep wearing the same clothes over and over again give me something new give me something fresh this is the outfit that you're gonna want now the henley's not your thing you could also pick up a lightweight crew neck from essentials like this one right here and it still looks just as good and gives you the same similar aesthetics however one thing i would say is guys if you're gonna wear dress pants like these especially the ones with pattern do not pair it with flannels just because pattern on patterns just starts looking way too complex way too murky and it does not give off a good look so i would recommend stick away from flannels if you're going to be wearing these dress pants just wear them more with either hoodies or crew necks and you'll be good to go definitely these outfits are a bit more experimental though so again if you don't like them just skip them pretend they never existed but for me i think it was something new that i could add in different ways that you guys can be styling your man's old schools the last and final pair of jeans are going to be these jeans right here which are distressed and i actually did a diy huge hole on the knee I kind of regretted it, but now that I'm seeing how I can style them with these Vans old schools, 
I mean, it's all right. It's not the worst thing ever. The first outfit you guys are going to be seeing, we're going to be putting that Henley back on. And now we're going to be pairing it with a flannel again. Now, this looks super dope. It's weird because I think that the Henley looks super dressed up and the flannel kind of gives that aesthetic. But then you just completely turn it around and you got like these jeans that are super distressed with a hole on it. And for me, I love it. I think it just it, it basically is just like a teenage type of look. Very youthful. I like that. I think it looks great. But again, it might not be your aesthetic. But the whole idea of this video is just kind of throwing things out there and seeing if you guys like any of the things that I wear and then you can implement it into your wardrobe and make it look just as good. Now, another thing that you guys could do with the blown out knee, obviously just keep it very simple and you guys already know what I'm gonna say. You have your crew neck, which is like super amazing, super comfortable and soft. Again, it's winter guys. Sometimes you just don't need to overthink these things, especially when you're wearing a pair of Vans old schools. Just keep it very simple, very relaxed and you'll be good to go. The hoodies next, again, this was like a common theme without the three outfits, I apologize. But I mean, come on, especially if you're a young adult who does not have hoodies and crew necks. It basically is a staple of any wardrobe. And if you just got a pair of Vans, then that's your go-to right away. But hopefully that helped you guys kind of see the different outfits that you guys can put together. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my Instagram at Men's Minute Fashion for more daily outfit inspiration. But with that, thank you for watching. Stay stylish, and as always, stay humble. How's it going, guys? Brian here in the day. Oh, fuck, I'm wearing one. <laughs>